We were talking about four kinds of love, and let's let's go through those. Especially, it sounds awkward for me to say, but I think if we talked about eros, because I think unfortunately that's what most people think about when they're thinking about love. What is storge? I remember Father Benedict Groeschel talking about. Couples yeah. who didn't know each other got married, and somehow they learned to live yeah. together and grow together, and he called that storge. Yeah. Is that what it is? Well, actually, uh, for C.S. Lewis and for the ancients, storge was basically affection. Mm -hmm. It was the feeling of love. So, um, you know, uh, but the, the problem with, you know, the feeling of love is there's, there's no action in it, there's no commitment in it, etc. It's, it's just a feeling. So it's, it's basically about 10% of love. And, and frankly, you could have storge for your dog, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, you know you okay, can, right. You know, I mean, feelings of affection are, you know, are many. And, and of course, they don't require a whole lot of it. It's just gotcha. a, a natural response. Now, philia really is getting into a whole... And that's where we get into friendship. And that's right. Philadelphia uh, and... That's right. About that for that's people. right. And, and, of course, friendships are reciprocal, right? They're mutual. So, and and that, that, that allows them to grow. So, you know, if I decide I'm going to commit a little bit more to you, and then you kind of commit a little bit more back to me, and I commit a little bit more of my loyalty and my future to you, and you commit a little more of your loyalty and friendship, you know, the friendship does grow. And so friendships can grow to, like, best friends, you know, where they're really is a unity with a, 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 another friend. Can there, can there be a friendship where each mm -hmm. one says, oh, we're such good friends, we don't demand any, we don't ask anything of each other. <laughs> no, that'd be the opposite of friendship because the reciprocity of friendship means that there is a reciprocal expectation uh, that comes uh, when we commit ourselves uh, to the other. So there has to be commitment going both ways, a commitment of future, a commitment of psychic energy, uh, a commitment of, of loyalty, a commitment of time, and, and so forth. These kinds of commitments have to flow both ways. And without those commitments, right, the, the friendship would, would literally not exist. I mean, it would just be, you know, drinking buddies. Right. You know, and that's not a real friendship.